geometry objects are the things that rays interact with. They are the components in your optical system. So there may be lenses, mirrors, prisms, CPCs, all sorts of different shapes. Again, if we look under the object listing and we only show the solid geometry objects, then you can see that we have built in a really wide range of objects that really cover just about every possible uh, scenario. However, let's just stay with the CPC that I have here. All objects have got a common set of properties in terms of their position and their tilts. That says tilt. Uh, and then they have some object specific properties. And for a CPC object, length, for example, is a, is a single property. So if I change length from 10 to 1, just via the keyboard, to 5, back to 10, to 20, you'll see how the object changes uh, immediately. And the word we use for this is parametric. The Most objects within ZMAX are parametric objects, which means that you can define them on the fly as um, uh, as you will, and you can also make them variables for optimization purposes as well. So let me just set this back to here. So here's this slice through this fill here. I can change the input aperture to 5, changes like that. I can change the angle in degrees 15 and so on. This is a parametric object and it can be changed. Now there are non-parametric objects uh, in Optic Studio as well. And for example, uh, CAD objects are non-parametric. So STL, uh, IGES, uh, STEP files, for example, are non-parametric. But there are also parametric objects that you can read in from CAD programs or from ZMAX's own part designer, which is up here in, in the interface. But the idea is, is that all geometry objects are parametric where possible so that you can easily adapt them, change them and do things like optimize and tolerance them.